Hi, well it's been a fun packed week, including more cake, uh, a day trip to London to direct a short promo film for uh, Parkinson's Day. Also in London we squeezed in a music video. I've learnt about the world of stems, more about that later. And I went knocking on the door of Froom FM. But first, the most important thing, work on the new song. So I'm down in the den in the studio. It's nearly midnight on Saturday. Just had Edith's second party where all the friends came from her daycare place, which was uh, nuts. I listened back to the stuff that I did last week, the music, and you can hear there, there's lots of, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with guitar and drums and stuff. So what I did tonight was I just broke it right down to this boom. Boom, boom, bass sound. I don't even think it's a bass, uh, a kick drum. I'm not even sure what it is exactly, but um, I just love the sound of it, and I, I just put a little groove with it. Very simple. I was trying to work on this theme of addiction. If it's something I suffer from, and uh, my wife wrote a few words down, just like three or four lines, and I really liked them. And I've got a melody, as you can hear. BPM, which is pretty fast, so even though the vocal sounds quite slow and about, you know, I can kick in some seriously fast grooves at any point in the song if it works, you know, and it will, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm trying to keep my voice low, um, just keep a simple melody for the verse, and then I can kind of lift it up for the chorus. So it is late, and I've got to go to London tomorrow morning. <laughs> Morning campers, so here we are on the train going to London, we're going on a shopping trip, no actually we're going to do some work, we're going to shoot a little film. Even though I'm totally shattered, I feel quite excited. Um, as you can hear, the train is very quiet, I hear no children screaming. Here we are in London, um, arrived on the train and um, we're about to get a taxi and go to the studio in Marylebone, so cool eh? London, I haven't been here for a while. My muscles may ache and sometimes I'll shake. I can struggle to stir my own tea. Six Parkinson sufferers who came down from Lincoln to uh, narrate the poem, um, which had been written by one of them. Yeah, they did an amazing job. It was a, it was, a, it was a special day. All the loving in your eyes keeps me high as a kite, and the places where you stand, but the music. We had some time left at the end of the shoot uh, and I wanted to try and squeeze in a, a music video for Beautiful Mind because we were in this big white space and I thought, you know, we'll try and do something. And the wonderful uh, Richard Lanley, who uh, owns and runs the studio, uh, helped out. Um, yeah, he was a real, uh, he was a real dude. I'm going to try an accent, but it will be bad, but you know, just to try to give you the vibe of Richard, you know. So I was uh, playing him some of the songs that I'd recorded and uh, Telling, telling him about the vlog. Yeah, mate, this is brilliant, mate, yeah. I had a dream last night, yeah, that I was gonna write a hit song. This is it, man, this is meant to be. Uh, all right, let's hear the track, Beautiful Mind. And then he played it through this huge PA in the room and it's pumping out, it sounds good loud, man. I was really surprised. And then he started directing me and uh, he came up with this kind of idea and we filmed it in a, 
like 20 minutes. The wonderful Jake, um, my DOP, he said that's the quickest music video I've ever shot. Still knackered, perpetual knackeredness. I just want to talk about stems. They're separate tracks from songs. So music stems are a format for creative DJing. You uh, export all your uh, music tracks from your edit, vocals, the drums, the keyboards, guitar, etc. as individual separate tracks, which then can be manipulated by uh, someone else as they uh, re-record, remix uh, your track. I've had a couple of requests for stems for a couple of my songs um, in the last week which is um, really exciting. I got an email from this guy and he wanted to take the vocal stems from uh, one of my songs called uh, Life So Cheap. Um, he reckoned it was a hit record and he wanted to re-record all the music for it. I'd love to do it but I just have to check and see that uh, legally that it's going to be alright. Cause the music, it saved my soul also, uh, Rich, the guy uh, who owned the studio we, um, where we were filming last Sunday, he was going crazy about Beautiful Mind, uh, where we shot that unusual music video. Yeah, he was going like nuts about it. He's going, yeah, man, Beautiful Mind. It's like a, it's going to be a club mix, you know. Um, get Fat Boy Slim to re-record it. So when I left him at the studio, he's going, give me the vocal stems, man. I'll get them over to Fat Boy. He also wanted to do a deal on it. Um, there's a couple of things to think about there, and I'm keen to do it. I just have to. Uh, Get a little bit of advice before I go ahead with that. Thanks so much uh, for watching these vlogs and listening to my songs. It's so greatly appreciated and it's great getting messages from people, some great feedback on some of the music as well. And uh, you know, it just keeps me going, keeps me believing that you know I can actually do this, I can make this happen. You know, I'm still full power up for this. I'm working on the new demo track uh, number six. A couple of strange things have happened this evening. Uh, I was sitting in the, this room here and with my back against this wall where my hand is and I swear, I swear somebody blew or something blew onto the back of my neck. Just once. Like that. Wow. It didn't freak me out actually. I was like, this is good. This is a sign. I've just found a symbol which seems to be on the lyrics for the uh, song I'm writing and I don't know where it came from and I don't know what it means but I'm sure I probably just hit something on the keyboard by accident and it would appear but it is freaking me out in a really good way so I better get back to the song. I was trying to get in touch with Froom FM and you know I sent them a couple of emails over the last uh, six weeks and um, telling them what I was up to and hoping that they might um, you know invite me in for a little slot on one of their shows but uh, no nothing back so I thought I'd pop in and say hello